So we're coming out of OU, living your passion, not afraid of what might be out there. Um, how did you go to Chicago and why? Why was Chicago the place? Well, you know, I didn't think of Cleveland wasn't really a, you know, ever yeah. creative hub. The Superman era was over, yeah, right? Yeah. So, yeah. I didn't see like a, a lot of jobs available in Cleveland yep. for there. And my sister, Linda, the oldest one. The responsible you know, one. The, the good, perfect child that mom and dad probably wish they had seven more of. You know, <laughs> she was a, an advertising executive for Mandebach and Sims okay. out there, which is one of the bigger ones. You know, there's, yep. you know, all the big agencies there. So she was an, ex, an exec, account exec there living in Evanston. So I just was, she's like, well, you can come and stay with me until you find something to do. And that was, you know, without that, I'm not sure if I would have had the guts to do it. Yeah, not, exactly. You know, because it would have been a completely different situation I would have had you know, so I just went, and she said, stay. And when I got there, I went to a few art, you know, showed my portfolio to a few people and realized quickly that, you know, if I want to work in advertising, I have to redo my whole portfolio. So yeah. I did it, redid my whole portfolio in like two months. Really? Yeah. I made all this advertising art yep. sitting in her upstairs room and then started going back and went back in and there and, you know, showed everyone. And then I got in. I mean, I must have called this poor woman at the place I got the job, phase two, like every day for like who knows how long. She was probably like, just give the job. <laughs> <laughs> well, she probably appreciated the fact that you're persistent and passionate. Well, I'm sure Seriously. That had something to do with it. That, you know, that, so what were you doing when you started with this company? Well, I was just doing production stuff, you know, yep. there. And then, you know, after a couple of months, they put me on to do, you know, Labeling for like uh, different products for yep. like I remember doing Aunt Nellie's. I don't know if you've seen them in the grocery store. Little no. Aunt Nellie's like jarred vegetables and whatnot. So you would draw the labels that I would, would draw the art that goes on the labels. Really like different things, and then we, you know we had other accounts like Nerds and yeah you know, the candy and, and other you know candy and all these different things. You know like you know I can't, I'm trying to remember some of them, but you know you would just. Do whatever they asked you to do. and mm -hmm. They had a vision. You took, and so you had a color mm -hmm. palette in mind. You mm -hmm. had a thing that, and it wasn't always a picture of a person. It mm -hmm. could have been three stripes of color of something yeah. like that, right? I, mean, I did Quaker, you know, oats and really? other things like that. And all this, you know, like, I remember granola bars when they first came out. You yeah. Know, so doing I, some granola bar art and all this stuff. So I remember doing the actual art, but this was after, I didn't work there very long. Yeah. I, I was there for like, you know, a year maybe at the most, you know, and then I went on my own. And that partly, partly, mostly because, you know, they were heavily into this Warner Earhart training stuff. You know, it was like, the, if you remember what that was. No. Positive, you know, they, it was like a oh. cult almost, you know. Like, uh -oh. it, it reminded me of what Scientology is today, and, I, <laughs> and they wanted us all to join it, and I was just like, yeah. That's kind of weird. Yeah, that, and, I, and I just didn't, at that point, I just went on my own. So, so go back to Quaker Oats. So you were just saying you were part of drawing something that was well, I, I just, seminal. I, that, that was kind of probably on my own. I had got I picked up a rep and I did a, you know that did stuff, and then I would go around to all the other you know agencies. So I did. Uh, I should have brought you know I never brought my advertising portfolio up yeah. in there, but I have a big advertising. That's I did cool. like a you know billboard art. I did the fit the giant fish on the top of. Uh, like, I'm trying to remember the Bishop's, uh, it was like a, a, a seafood restaurant. Yeah. I had this giant fish that was sticking on the top of the building. <laughs> I did that. I did a giant cockroach crawling over a billboard sign that broke out of it. <laughs> now, I did the Taste of Chicago, which wow. was a big, yeah. huge poster that had all of Chicago, like the whole area with Grant Park and all the different big buildings. And th that was for Canfield Soda. I don't know if they're... You know, I remember that. Yeah, if you've seen, they're not really. It's kind of more out. Yep. Mid. Yep. You know, Midwestish. They're Got part it. of the Midwest, not ours. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so they, but we did that, and you know, I did lots of advertising art for Nestle and all these other oh, companies, that's cool. and you know that you know I had a bunch of my own clients. I had you know a rep getting me stuff, and then she got me the Quaker stuff. And I remember doing the first ad for Motorola for cell phones. Really? Yeah. 
how cool that must yeah, have been. Yeah, before anyone knew what cell phones was, it was like they had the cell. They were trying to explain what cell phones were before they even even those big bricks came out. Oh and yeah, that stuff. So I was just wishing now that I was smart enough to invest in that back then. No kidding, no <laughs> kidding. I mean, yeah. I, I've seen the video of the Motorola guy making that first phone call and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Yeah, that yeah. Well, what a great thing to remember. Was, you I remember. did like some of the first art for Motorola. I remember the guy sitting at his. That's like flying through space talking on the phone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was your vision. <laughs> well, that was what they wanted. You know, yeah. was, you know and then there was like a, the cells were all, you know, they were trying to explain the cells. Yeah. You know, like the honeycomb. What a cell tower was yeah, and how that works. You know, how yeah. that, that's why they call them cell phones, apparently, you know. So yeah. they can only cover so much of a thing with that. You know, so I remember doing all that early stuff. And, you know, and then, you know, eventually got to the end of the road where. We'll get into that in a second. Time to move. Yep.